Okay, we're often asked, what keeps CISOs up at night? And this really depends depending on what industry organizations are in. But it really comes down to uh, worries about compliance, brand reputation, and liability in general. So depending on what type of vertical you're in, you're gonna have different concerns. If you're in gaming, where, for example, DDoS uh, attacks are very prevalent, you're gonna make sure that you have the latest DDoS technology to keep the game running as users expect, so you don't lose users. If you're uh, running a shopping website or anything which involves credit card data or personal, personal identifiable information or PII, you're gonna be worried about web application attacks uh, out there. If you're running internal business applications, maybe you want to make sure that only authenticated users can even get into the system before they touch the application. So it really depends on uh, the organization you have and the business goals. So you know, using something, for example, like a next generation web application firewall to deal with uh, making sure personal identifiable information isn't leaked, making sure you can use the latest technology to make sure if a query comes in or it looks like a query, if it comes over email, it's not gonna be an issue. If it's a, a SQL query uh, with the exact same words, you wanna be able to tell those two apart because the SQL query could have damaging effects for your business. Similarly, on the DDoS protection side, a regular application delivery controller can work for most organizations. But if you're in the gaming industry, you want to have the latest technology, not making sure you're blocking all the known bad sites sourced from multiple uh, organizations, and also using artificial intelligence to find the zero day attacks. So really it comes down to what type of organization are you? What are the biggest risks? Just to make sure that you can uh, make sure you don't have the brand damage, you don't uh, become a headline in the news. We'll